Hi everyone, I'm Kristen. I'm the Skills Training Coordinator for Real Help for Real Life and today I'm going to talk to you about the importance of play with your children. Um, so in, it's, this might be obvious, but uh, your kids really love to play and there's lots of reasons for that. One main reason is that um, play is the primary language for a child. They don't have the kind of vocabulary skills that uh, you and I have as a, adults and so it's a whole lot easier for kids to communicate through play. And so when you join your children in play that can be really special to your kids. Um, it's kind of like you joining them in their world instead of asking your kids to join you in your world and communicate the way that you know how. Um, and there's lots of other major benefits to engaging in play with your children. Um, it helps them to feel safe and it helps them to be, build communication skills and learn boundaries and social skills. And whenever you engage with them specifically, you can help teach them those tools in um, a process that they're most comfortable with. Uh, there's lots of different ways you can do that too. So. Um, doing like a, a fun secret handshake or talking in silly voices or telling funny jokes. Those are all good ways to playfully engage with your child um, and they don't really require much time or any supplies. And while you're doing those things, you're making lots of eye contact and behavior matching, which would be like um, uh, sitting the way that they sit or if they're leaning forward, lean forward leaning forward too, and things like that. Um, and those are all ways that you connect with them uh, while you're playfully engaging. So I mentioned a few that are like pretty easy to do. You can do them in the car if you wanted to. Um, but one of my personal favorites to suggest to families is to just get a set of toys. You can set them on a rug or you can just go into your kid's room if that's easier um, to facilitate. And just have maybe 15 minutes of uninterrupted playtime um, where you focus on your child and your child gets to play. So don't, um, some key aspects here, don't um, initiate the play, wait until you're invited, and in the meantime, focus on what your child is doing, make lots of eye contact, behavior match, do some appropriate touch um, if it feels comfortable for you guys. Um, and then when you're invited to play, let your child still lead with what you guys are doing. If he's playing out a scenario or something, let him decide how that's going to go. Um, and while you're doing those things, you're engaging with your child, like I said, in his world. And that just helps him to create, helps to create a, an environment of safety for your child while they can kind of explore what they need to explore. And now if you don't have a child who is um, of playing with toys kind of age. If you got older kids, you can do the same things while doing an activity like maybe cooking or riding a bike or playing a sport. Um, and what's important to remember during those moments is that it doesn't matter how it turns out. So those are not activities to, those are not times where you want to focus on are they shooting the basketball right or um, did they put the right measurement of the flour in for cookies? It's really about your engagement and so if your kiddo wants to put mustard in those chocolate chip cookies, go for it. Uh, because at the end of the day what really matters is how you made your child feel in the way that you guys connected um, instead of how those things turned out. Thanks for joining today, guys, and we will see you very soon for our next video. Thank you.